need to report a missing person. It's my ex-partner. Darren McMinn has been missing since the 11th when he was last seen. He really stays in touch with his family, particularly his son. Even when he's on a bender, he tells him where he's going to be for the purposes of safety. The place that you start with a missing person case is try to understand who they are and why they wouldn't be where they're expected to be. Darren McMinn has got a debt, um, a debt to drug dealers. He contacts, um, or is in contact with somebody called Candido Pereira. And we don't know who Candido is? We do know who he is. He's a shoplifter, there's nothing. Nothing major about him. Uh, Candido and McMinn's phones remain together and are together throughout the day. But he maintains he left him about half past two. Um, that just isn't the case. Candido, open the door or we'll force it. I'm now arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Darren McMinn, <laughs> OK? He's now under arrest for murder. I was driving for these fellows. OK. Driving them around and they were selling drugs. And uh, those people, they, they have uh, a new batch of heroin. And uh, I said to them that I, I, knew, I knew somebody that uh, would be ideal because they like to have people that inject. So I got in touch with uh, Darren. What involvement have you had in the disappearance of Darren McMinn? No involvement. Here we go. Whose blood is it? The carpet is ruined because I, I used to have my cat, but she scratches everywhere. I replaced a bit of the carpet, but I wanted to replace everywhere. When was the carpet? When did you do that? Not long ago, about uh, a week and a half ago. When you watch his interview, his ears, you know, he's chatting, he's quite confident. Roy's convinced he's a narcissist, which is part of the reason he'll be talking because he obviously just thinks we're not smart enough to catch him and he can say whatever he wants. They will go into every single nook and cranny in that flat, mm -hmm. you know, plug holes, sinks, joints on sinks. They, they will use all these things yeah. um, to, to do as thorough a search as possible okay. of your flat, OK? No problem. Yeah, I was already going to do Yeah, so is there anything, no. anything further that no. you want to say? No. Hello, Sarah Jones. It's in the boot. Well, sometimes when you've got nothing else, it does feel like everything's riding on one piece of evidence. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you, mate. Take care. Bye. It is Darren McMinn. We have to go because we have to show not only that Darren came into harm in that address, which we're now satisfied, that he did come to harm in that address, but now he got moved into the boot of that car yeah. and you've moved him. Where have you moved him to? Yeah. I wish to tell the truth about the death of Darren McMinn. Darren sat down on the black settee and I asked him if it was he who had robbed my flat on December 23rd, 2015, which prevented me from going home to Portugal. Without answering me, he jumped up, grabbed the kitchen knife which was on top of a coffee table and charged at me. I fell backwards but was able to grab a dining chair and hit him with it. I was then able to grab the cord from my vacuum cleaner and wrap it round his hands and body. 
He then stopped fighting and I thought that he was pretending to have passed out. I panicked. I finished the crack cocaine that I had and I didn't know what to do. I can't remember much of my movements after that, but it was two days later when I was able to wrap the body in plastic bags and carry it out to the car. It was late at night. I dumped the body in a reservoir between Horwich and Chorley. I could Would you be able to take us back to that, that, that lodge? I do. Okay. You can. I do. I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.